your destiny On the big screen for me That's a show I like to see I can be a groovy C If you just play for me I watch you on the TV screen Come on, let me make you famous, famous, famous What percentage of men actually think like Dino? Wow, uh, that's a good question. I, I, I don't know. I hope it's a low percentage. What advice would I give women in this situation? Uh, I, that there's always a way out. I mean, I, it's just a tough situation to be in. You know, I have a daughter myself, so, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's never too late to get out of a situation like that. Any any guy that'll treat you like that, it's it's 50 other men that'll treat you like a queen. You know what I mean? Um, the best part of being married is you get to spend a lifetime with your best friend. Uh, the worst thing, uh, I haven't encountered any 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 worst part of being married. I love it. I'm loving every day of it. I'm super excited to go to Ghana. I mean, this is my first trip there. Uh, and I'm, I'm ready to soak up all the history I can. And yeah, I have roots in Ghana, so this, this is special for me. Leave, run. <laughs> Did you see the movie? Not yet, but I know the, I know the thing. Run. Just run. Yeah, it's like, why would they stay in a situation like that is beyond me. Homie's crazy. This is actually Lance. He impressed the hell out of me with this role because Lance is usually a good guy. He's always portrayed a guy. He ain't a good guy in this. Right. This is going to shock everybody when it comes to Lance Rose. But he kills it. So far, as far as acting goes, he kills it. You know, when playing a character, many times, like, as actors, I experience actors just kind of play the role or, you know, I can tell the difference between someone who plays the role and someone who becomes it. Uh, and I think tapping into truth for me is really allowing myself to be in the moment and not judge the character. You know, if I'm sad or if I'm being taken advantage of or if I feel naive or if I'm okay with something that I wouldn't normally be okay with, I had to allow myself to just be okay in the moment. Like, okay. And yeah, at times I felt a little stupid or I felt weird, but I'm sure that that's how I feel sometimes when I'm taking something that I shouldn't take. And I'm sure that that's how women all around the world feel at times when we're accepting things in our lives that maybe in retrospect and in, in hindsight 2020 we'll be like oh i would never do that again you know and be so strong but like in the moment allowing myself to feel how that feels you know whatever that might be you know even if that is being strong or, or speaking out oh, i would i would say pray i would say speak talk to people that you love that you know have your back and your best interests at heart and not push the people that you know make great choices or have discernment like with like if you have like for example if you have a best friend and when something is just not good she's like oh I don't have a good feeling about this and you listen to her most times but now you have this guy or you have this situation where you're like oh girl I got it sometimes maybe you should just listen to what your friend has to say or your sister or your family has to say because when we push away our loved ones to let somebody closer to us who may not be good for us that's when it's able to destroy because we pushed everything good away and chosen that thing that's no good for us and put it first. Like allow your love to stay close to you because they're gonna help you cut out the bull for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.